so here you have another task of adding and subtracting the complex numbers so remember the rule when two complex numbers are given to you and the question came to comes to add the complex number what you have to do you have to add the real numbers with the real numbers and the imaginary numbers with the imaginary numbers and your problem will be resolved and that's it so for example the question is 2 plus 5i this is the first complex number must be added with the 6 minus 7i so first of all what you can do you can write the real numbers with the real numbers but before that one open it with the positive sign by distributive property it means 2 plus 5i plus times 6 it will gives you plus 6 and plus minus will gives you minus 7i now add the real number with the real number it means 2 plus 6 will gives you 8 and plus 5 minus 7 will give you negative 2 I don't forget to write the I with it similarly if the question comes about the subtraction of the complex numbers same procedure apply subtract the real number with the real number and imaginary number with the imaginary number that's it so 7 plus 8i minus in the bracket, the other complex number is written in the form of negative 5, negative 3, i. So, before doing anything, what we do always, we open it, means by distributive property, and distribute this negative with the other signs. So, 7 plus 8i is stay as it is. Negative, negative will give you positive 5, and negative, negative will give you positive 3, now, real number with the real number, so you will have 7 plus 5, that will give you 12. Now, 8i and 3i, they all are imaginary numbers, so plus 8i plus 3i, it will give you plus 11i. And that's all. Let's check this example. Let z equals to minus 2 plus i and w equals to minus 2z find z plus w and graph and graph z w and z plus w so let's see what is given that z, z equals to minus 2 plus i now the second factor is w which is equals to minus 2z but what is z z is already minus 2 plus i so here they gave you a process of multiplication also it means in place of z we will write minus 2 plus i now in multiplication we multiply by distributive property no matter the uh, the uh, number which is given is uh, is a real number or the imaginary number so open the bracket by using the distributive property to get the complex number named as w minus 2 times minus 2 will give you 4 minus 2 times i will give you negative 2 i so your z is negative 2 plus i and your w is 4 minus 2 i now what they are asking you they are asking you to find z plus w so z plus w in place of z you just write minus 2 plus i in the bracket. Here you have an addition sign. So just write the positive sign. And w is 4 minus 2i. Apply the same concept of addition. It means real number with the real number. Imaginary number with the imaginary number. So here minus 2 plus 4. Since it is plus so I am not trying to open the brackets. So minus 2 plus 4 will give you 2. And positive i minus 2i will give you negative i. So, this is your resultant complex number. Okay. Now, they are asking you to graph on the complex plane. So, let's see. First of all, z. z is negative 2 real and 1i as an imaginary. 
So here you have negative 2 plus and here 1i. So just make this point. So this is your z. Now w is 4 minus 2i. So here on the real plane this is a 4. And on the imaginary plane go down until you get the negative 2i. So here is your negative 2i. So here name it as w. Now after that you have z plus w. It means 2 minus i. So where is 2? Here is 2. And i is here. So that is your z plus w. Now let's suppose one more thing. If they ask you to take the absolute value of z plus w also. Let's say here it is not given in the question. But if they give you to find the absolute value of z plus w. So what do you do? You know that the formula of any absolute value is square root of a square plus b square. So what is your a? a is your 2. So you will have the 2 e square plus what is your b? Negative 1. Because though number is written, it means negative 1 is written. Power 2. So just check it. It will give you square root of 5. So that's all. That is your answer. One more last question. Z1 equals to 3 square root. Let's see here. Z1 equals to 3 square root of 2 plus 2i. Z2 is equals to root 2 minus i. You have to find the w which is equal to z1 minus z2. So z1 minus z2 we write it. First write down the factors or the complex numbers of z1 that is 3 square root 2 minus plus 2i. Then here you have the sign of subtraction so write the minus. And z2 is square root of 2 minus i. After that, first of all, since before the bracket, the negative sign is there. So, open it with the help of distributive property. So, the first bracket is stay as it is. And now, distribute the minus with the, others, with the other numbers. So, minus is square root 2. Minus minus positive. Now add the real number with the real number. So 3 is square root 2 minus is square root 2. And the imaginary number plus 2i plus i, it will give you 3i. Now 3 is square root 2 minus 2 is square root of 2 will give you 2.82. You can, you can write it as it is. Otherwise you can write in the decimal 2.82 plus 3i. Now sketch the graph of these numbers. So zi equals to 3 square root 2 plus 2i. And 3 is square root 2 means 4.24. So if you write this, this is your 4.24. So here it's somewhere here 4.24 and plus 2i you have to move up because this is 2i. If we go here and here so this is our point for z1. Now for z2, square root 2 minus i. So square root 2 means 1.41. So here somewhere 1.41 minus i. i is in the vertical axis on the downward side. So this one is your w. Now z, z1 minus z2 will be 2.82 plus 3i. So it will be 2.82 somewhere here. And 3i for that one you have to go up. So it will be z1 minus z2. So I hope that you understand the concepts of addition and subtraction of the two complex numbers and how to grab them on the complex plane. So if still you have some questions, you can write it in the comments. Thank you very much.